so the season ended today, and we settled on our top four seeds. Here, here are mine. Kansas, Michigan State, North Carolina, Villanova. Is that close to what you're thinking? That's, that's pretty close. I got Kansas, Michigan State, Virginia, and then I got uh, whichever team between Villanova and Xavier if either advances the farthest in their conference tournament or wins the conference tournament between those two. I think it's that close. Uh, and then the other one will start the, the S-curve on the second line. But uh, that's where I think that's going to end up. North Carolina, I think, ends up being a two-seed. Now, uh, Xavier and Villanova, they tied or they split during the regular yes. season? Yes, yes. Does that make it going to be tougher? Oh, yeah. The third third time, you know, it's going to be the charm for somebody. For somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of being the charm, the, the bubble teams, uh, you must mm. mention my Cincinnati Bears. Oh, yeah. They're definitely in the mix now, but uh, along with the Seton Halls and, and uh, you know, uh, you got to say going into conference tournament, you got to say Michigan's on the bubble, Ohio State's on the bubble, you got to say uh, uh, maybe the USC's are somewhat on the bubble. But uh, uh, I think they're tenuous. You know, I think there's a lot going on below the below the Mendoza line, so to speak, <laughs> uh, that could really impact some of those teams on if they're really on the bubble or not. So we'll have to see how that shakes out.